Hello friends, in the previous video, we see how we can create web content using structure and template. So in this video, we will see how we can use images in our web content. So click on this admin and cl then click on this content. Okay, now as you can see, this is web content portlet. So we also have a portlet named document and media. So document and media portlet is used for storing documents. So like if we want to use any PDF or image, then we can use this in our document and media portlet. So today we will discuss more about document and media portlet and how we can upload the image and how we can use this image in our website. So I click on this document and media and then I click on this add folder give any name like and also you can give any description for permission I am using anyone so click on this save so now this folder is created so it's same as our desktop now we can upload the files in this and then use the files so now I am in this folder the library is easy and I am in this folder so click on this add and you can here add basic documents and other things also so I am using like basic document and here I can upload any document so just choose a file I am uploading this file photojet2 and give the file like similarly add the description you can use categorization or tags we will discuss this in our later tutorials of admin so for now you can leave this blank and then click on publish so as you can see this file is uploaded So now we have this file, we can use this file in our portlets or in our web contents. So let me just click on this. So as you can see, we have this file and we have this URL. So when I click on this get URL, so this is my URL. So I just copy this and, and paste in my notepad. So now let's create a web content and use this image. So I'm clicking on this web content add basic web content give the title like so here we have option for image and here you can provide the URL which we copied earlier so I'm just using this URL and press enter so as you can see this is the image when I click on the source so this is my image So when I click on this image, now we can set the properties of this like width 500 or let me give 280. So by using this, just click on this OK. So now this is my image. I can use this. So this way we can use our image. So first I upload the image in document and media portlet and get the URL and then use in my web content we have one more option so like I want to upload one more image so you can directly go to document media portlet from here just click on this browse server 
so this will open your document and video portlet you can create a folder here but uh, we already created so click on this library because we are in library site and look here we have a folder so just click on this folder and then choose file and upload any file like uh, and upload this so now this file is uploaded now click on this file so now this is open in this so let me just change the size and click on ok so now we have two images one is this and second is this so basically we have two ways to use document and media portal it. first we open the document and media portal it, upload the image and then use the URL second we directly open the document and media portal from there click on this browse server and select your site like I'm in life recite and upload the file here and then use it so this is very important portlet this document media portlet you can use it for uploading PDFs JPG images text files etc etc so that's it for now if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching